Welcome to Butcher Barbecue Videos. Today we're going to go over a sharpening steel. It is the most needed tool for anyone that carves, slices, or chops meat. Sharpening steels come in many shapes and sizes. They're made of metal, ceramic, and even stone. The ones we're going to use today are made of metal. Looking at these, you can see they come in different lengths and even shapes. They come with uh, grooves, and some will come and smooth as polished as this. Makes no difference which type you choose. They all have a job to do, and they all do it well if used properly. The proper way that we tell people to use a steel is to lay the edge of the knife against the steel with the angle of approximately a quarter underneath it. Move it from top to bottom using the whole length of the knife blade, switch sides, and go down the other side. And that's all that it takes while holding it at that same distance. If you're not comfortable going into your hand, don't worry. A knife is not directional. You can turn it upside down and use it this way. Once you perfect the movement of a knife and a steel, it's just a matter of repetition and doing it over and over. Maintenance for a steel is real simple. Use a piece of emery cloth and do what we call dress a steel, using it up and down. And what that does, that cleans out the pores. Take a, a towel, clean it off, and now you're ready to use it. Cleaning a steel is easy. Just use warm soapy water and wipe it down. I do not like a dishwasher since a steel is magnetized and with it, you can tell by placing a knife on the end of it and just barely pulling it up. Just about any knife can be used with a steel. You can use cleavers, paring knives, skinning knives, fillet knives, even one with a Granton blade. But a serrated blade like a bread knife cannot be used. Well, that's it for Butcher Steel 101. Be sure to like our YouTube channel so you'll be notified whenever new videos come out. 